Dunia ya wateule Dunia ya wenye haki Dunia ya watakatifu Dunia ya wana wa Yesu Dunia ya walio itwa kurithi ufalme wa mbinguni Imefika mwisho Lakini dunia ya wenye dhambi bado inaendelea Maandiko yanasema wenye haki wataishi kwa imani. Hatutaangalia makabeji na unga wa mahindi na michele ili tushibe tutaishi kwa imani. Na imani itafanya kazi. I tell you, itafanya kazi. Itafanya kazi. We shall have a better life than them. Tutakuwa na uwezo na nguvu nyingi za roho mtakatifu na katika nguvu hizo tutakuwa na uwezo wa kutakasa hata hewa yenyewe na kuiambia hewa tulie tumboni mwangu uwe chakula na ikupeleke hata wiki mzima wiki mzima umeshiba hewa uliyoibadilisha kwa imani kwa jina la Yesu nyingi na muda mrefu tutakuwa katika maombi ya kufunga na jinsi tunavyozidi kukaa katika maombi ya kufunga hatuli chakula cha kibinadamu tunakula mana inayoshuka kutoka juu mbinguni bas roho mtakatifu hatatujaza tutakuwa na nguvu za roho mtakatifu tutatembea kwa uwezo wa roho mtakatifu kama Elia akitembea na gari la moto
Mwelezee Yesu sadaka ya makofi. Tuchukua nafasi ya uketi kisha msalimu aliye karibu nawe kwa niaba yangu mwambie tu karibu kwa jina la Yesu. Pokeeni salamu za kutoka pande za Ruiru kule Nairobi. Ah, nilipokuwa tukiagana nao Jumapili ya jioni mwendo wa saa moja ya jioni waliniambia nikifika Malindi ni wape salamu zao pokeeni kwa jina la Yesu. <tune> tano ulikuwa mkubwa kiasi kile ambacho hakuna mtu alitarajia watu walio kuja kwa sababu wamepokea habari hizi za Times TV walikuwa wengi si haba na katika hizo siku zinazokuja hiyo itapeperushwa kwa uninga na utajionea kwa macho mwenyewe kwa utukufu wa jina la Yesu. Semina hile ilikuwa nzuri sana na Yesu akajidhihirisha vikubwa na hata kuna rasta alisalimisha maisha yake kwa Yesu. Pia. mama kadha pia waliweza kuja kusalimisha maisha yao kwa Yesu na wakaangusha marembo chini na wakasema wacha tuende na Yesu haleluya kazi ya ajabu ilitendeka pale na yote ni sifa kwa Yesu wetu Ni kweli kabisa sisi tumepewa kuishi wakati walala salama wa dunia. Na yote Yesu aliyenituma kila mtu sasa anayaona kwa wazi, anayaona kwa macho iliagizwa yakiwa katika siri ya rohoni lakini sasa yanaonekana kwa macho namshukuru Yesu kwa sababu amelitazama neno lake na agizo lake na ujumbe wake kwa manabii ukatimizwa kwa hivyo nasema jina la Yesu wetu lipewe sifa na utukufu. Na sasa injili najihubiri sasa yenyewe. Haleluya. Kweli ni ya kwamba Sasa wanadamu wanastahili kuona ni sababu gani tuliingizwa magerezani ni sababu gani tuliteswa katika mikono ya wanasheria au serikali za dunia kile walichokuwa wakizuia kisijulikane na kisatambulikane na mapema ili kazi yao iharibike ndicho hicho sasa kimetokea machoni pa wanadamu wote pembe ine za dunia kawaambia inakuja kwa njia ya digital id kwa watu wazima imefika names will generate a unique identification number that will be known as the huduma number
this is the mark of the beast system and the beast system is getting ready to be fully entrenched in Kenya. The government says you will not be able to get any government services if you do not register under the new national integrated identity management systems. Once you remember your Huduma number, it will pull out all the other information for you without bothering you to carry uh, very many things. It is data capture that we'll be doing and therefore we will not expect that you appear before a registration officer and you live with a card. The, that will come in the fullness of time. In uh, what probably uh, we'll have a chip, uh, we'll have a chip, uh, we'll have a chip, uh, we'll have a chip and we'll have a form of identification. But for now uh, we will uh, go get digital data capture get digital data capture aidha utahitajika kuwasilisha alama za mikono masikio kitambazo cha retina ya macho pamoja na aina ya sauti lakini shukrani ziende kwa Yesu wetu kwa sababu alitumia pia njia hiyo ya wao kututesa kwa ajili ya injili hii ili pia afanye ujumbe kwa haraka ufike kwa mataifa yote pembe ine za dunia na kweli kabisa ulikwishafika hata wachina walishuhudia kwa lugha ya kikwao ya kichina wakitangaziwa kwa vyombo vyao vya habari ya kwamba kuna mkondrovasho preacher Kenya katika muji wa Malindi ambaye anahubiri anasema education is evil kwa hivyo hakuna ambaye hakusikia habari hiyo. Na ile ilikuwa ni kusudi la Yesu ili wanadamu wapate kufunguka macho na akili zao kwa haraka na wapate kutambua ya kwamba dunia imefika ukingoni. Na na yashuhudia haya ya kwamba ni ya kweli kwa sababu Nilipo toka gerezani wakati ule mwaka huo wa 2017 nilipotoka gerezani mind you kumbuka tuliingizwa gerezani mara mbili katika mwaka mmoja lakini nilipotoka uh, nilipokea simu kutoka California na, na huko pande za Amerika kutoka kwa mjombangu kaniambia niliona gazeti hapa California likiwa limeandika habari zako na wakisema unahubiri na kusema education is evil kwa hivyo habari zilifika kote kote hata kwa magazeti yote sema radical preacher Haleluya. Ndipo kweli nikadhibitisha kweli. Kile Yesu alikuwa amekusudia ameketimiza. Kwa hivyo yote yanatendeka kwa wenye haki, kwa wema. Si kwa hasara wala si kwa kupotea, bali ni kwa wema, kwa utukufu wake yeye alie tutuma Haleluya tuko pamoja na nimekuwa nikisikia watu wa kila kabila katika nchi hii wakiniambia kwamba hizi habari tulizisikia sana tena si haba tena zikitangazwa kwa kilugha yetu 
basi injili imefika kwa mataifa yote sasa hakuna sababu nyingine ya Yesu kukosa kulichukua kanisa lake haleluya haleluya dunia ya wateule dunia ya wenye haki dunia ya watakatifu dunia ya wana wa Yesu dunia ya walioitwa kurithi ufalme wa mbinguni imefika mwisho lakini dunia ya wenye dhambi bado inaendelea tuko pamoja tuko pamoja dunia ya wenye dhambi bado inafanya nini inaendelea bas mwenye haki jiweke tayari kuwa macho jitakase kila kuchao usiku na mchana achana na mambo ya ulimwengu huu propaganda zisizoweza kukusaidia achana nazo na washangaa sana wanadamu ni wanafiki maana wakati nilipowekwa gerezani walikuwa wakiongea kwa sauti kuu ndani ya manyumba yao ili wewe ulie mshirika wa hapa usikie vile mtumishi wenu anashutumiwa ni kweli si kweli ni kweli si kweli angalia unafiki wao ulivyo sasa baada ya kuwa rais wa nchi hii ametangaza mambo ya huduma namba ama unique personal identity number ya kwamba ni kila moja the government says you will not be able to get any government services nor obtain an id passport driving license or even a birth certificate if you do not register under the new national integrated identity management systems it is all systems go for a pilot of the new registration in 15 counties as our very own Dorcas Wangira reports The National Integrated Identity Management Systems NIMS will create and manage a central master population register. It will capture data for persons from the age of 6. This the government says will be the authentic source of truth of identity of all persons residing in Kenya. For each registration, the National Integrated Identity Management System, better referred to as NIMS, will generate a unique identification number that will be known as the huduma number a person who is not registered under the huduma number program will not access government services such as registration and replacement of id cards application and renewal of driving licenses and passports nhif nssf birth certificates cash transfer to the elderly subsidized farm inputs among others the purpose is to capture biometric data of all citizens and foreigners as well the registration is mandatory <laughs> The first mass registration exercise will be undertaken by registration officers including assistant chiefs and registration assistants for 30 days. This will take place at homes, mobile registration centers and in special institutions such as hospitals, prisons and learning institutions between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. including on weekends and public holidays. To register one will require their identification documents and physical presence but when asked why now the government maintains this is to facilitate the big four agenda through the provision of citizen data to stakeholders who are charged with the delivery of food security affordable housing manufacturing and affordable healthcare for all county commissioners will coordinate the execution of huduma number related activities in the counties the pilot will be in 15 counties nairobi wasengeshu Kajiado, Baringo, Marsabit, Embu, 
Makueni, Busia, Nyandarwa, Kiambu, Kilifi and Tana River. Human rights groups and Kenyans from different quarters have expressed concerns over NIMS, citing possible gaps in implementation, key being the risk of abuse of the digital legal database, lack of data protection laws and policies in Kenya, and the administrative inefficiencies hindering reach of birth registration to all Kenyans. But the government maintains the rollout will take place with a pilot registration slated for February and continuous registration for March respectively. Ya kwamba ni kila moja awa yeyote aliye mdogo kwa aliye mze ni lazima aipate nambari hiyo na asipo ipata awezi pata uduma yeyote katika inchi hii au katika mataifa vya dunia hiyo yote ile walishtuka waliokuwa wakinena ya kinyume wakashtuka na sasa hawakupaza sauti wakaongea vile walivyokuwa kipaza sauti ili wewe usikie lakini sasa wanavutana karibu masikioni ah kumbe makenzi alikuwa anasema ukweli sasa sauti hakuna tena badala wapaze sauti ili wewe usikie ya kwamba wamekubali ya kwamba yaliyotumanwa na Yesu ni ya kweli sasa kumbe alikuwa anasema ukweli aviongei kwa sauti tena unaona wewe unafiki unaona wewe unafiki ndivyo ilivyo na sasa waongei chochote hata nasikia askari mmoja ambaye ni wautumishi kwa wote amesikika mahali akisema akisema sisi zurugoa tutaki kuingia irimidhati sasa tunaingiza irimidhati kwa nguvu ngasema ho kumbe ume, umejua sasa eh eh sasa analia akisema wanaingiza irimidhati kwa nguvu <laughs> kwa nguvu Haleluya. Haleluya. Na wataingia. Na wataingizwa. Kwa sababu si wote waliohesabiwa kuwa sehemu ya ufalme wa mbinguni. Wataingizwa. Hawakujua tangia mwanzo ya kwamba utumishi wao au kuwa unatokana na Yesu bali ulikuwa ni utumishi wa kiiliminati tangu mwanzo sasa ndiyo yule shetani amejitokeza kwao waziwazi wazi, kimacho macho sasa wanashindwa wapitie shimo gani wa mtoroke maana alikwisha wanasa tangu zamani Haleluya. Haleluya. Ni kweli wenye haki tutakuwa na wakati mgumu kwa sababu wakati na saa imefika ya kutoka Babeli hata kwa lazima ndiposa uweze kuona uzima wako wa milele. Kwa hivyo tutakuwa na wakati mgumu lakini pande moja au nyingine niliambia watu ruiru ya kwamba si wakati mgumu ni wakati rahisi sana ni wakati mzuri sana kwa wenye haki tuache kuona kuwa ni wakati mgumu huu si wakati mgumu tunaenda kuingia ama tunao ukabili sasa kwa kukataa chapa ya yule mnyama inayoitwa unique personal identity number si wakati mgumu wapendwa ni wakati ambapo Yesu atajidhihirisha kwetu wazi wazi kila siku 24/7 tutakuwa pamoja na yeye 24/7 atajidhihirisha anachosubiri kwako 
ni uamuzi wako kisha ajidhihirishe wazi wazi si wakati mgumu ni wakati bora wakati mzuri in fact nimeanza kuona katika roho ya kwamba utakuwa ni wakati ambao ni bora tena mzuri hata kuliko hao watakaoichukua chapa ya yule mnyama tutakuwa zaidi yao Maandiko yanasema wenye haki wataishi kwa imani Hatutaangalia makabeji na unga wa mahindi na michele ili tushibe tutaishi kwa imani na imani itafanya kazi i tell you itafanya kazi itafanya kazi we shall have a better life than them tutakuwa na uwezo na nguvu nyingi za roho mtakatifu na katika nguvu hizo tutakuwa na uwezo wa kutakasa hata hewa yenyewe na kuiambia hewa tulie tumboni mwangu uwe chakula na ikupeleke hata wiki mzima wiki mzima umeshiba hewa uliyoibadilisha kwa imani kwa jina la Yesu mara nyingi na muda mrefu tutakuwa katika maombi ya kufunga na jinsi tunavyozidi kukaa katika maombi ya kufunga hatuli chakula cha kibinadamu tunakula mana inayoshuka kutoka juu mbinguni basi roho mtakatifu hatatujaza tutakuwa na nguvu za roho mtakatifu tutatembea kwa uwezo wa roho mtakatifu kama Elia akitembea na gari la moto si kwa majeshi wala sila ni kwa mtakatifu wao wakipanda magari kwa sababu wanayo mark of the beast sisi hatutaingia magari yanayopatwa na ajali barabarani sisi tutatembea kwa uwezo wa roho mtakatifu na ukitembea njiani gari lao likikosa njia ili lilenge kukugonga roho mtakatifu anakuinua juu gari lao linapita linaingia msitu maana nguvu za roho mtakatifu zimekuwa nyingi kwa sababu unaishi ni kwa kufunga tu ni kwa kufunga tu na chakula chako akipigwi kwa nyundo azikipigwe majiko ya wanadamu kinashuka kutoka juu mbinguni na kinashibisha tumbo lako na maisha inaendelea haleluya akipigwi kwa kwa hizo nyungu kinapikwa kutoka ofisi katika jiko la juu mbinguni
kumbe shimba na makabe jikumbe ilifanya hata tunakosa nguvu za roho mtakatifu sasa tutapokea nguvu maana tutakuwa hatuna uwezo wa kwenda kuzinunua tutatakasa hewa tutaishi kwa imani haleluya na watatuona tunaishi tuko pamoja Ninawaambia mambo ambayo yanawezekana mia za mia. Ni wakati muumba wetu anataka kuudhihirishia ulimwengu ya kwamba yeye anaweza. Kwa hivyo accident za barabara watabaki nazo wenyewe accident za ndege watabaki nazo wenyewe na wakichukua lisaali zima kwenda Nairobi wewe unachukua sekunde uko Nairobi kwa uweza wa roho mtakatifu by the power of the holy spirit sasa niambie ni maisha ni maisha gani mazuri kupita hayo? Hawa watu wanadanganywa. Wanaambiwa ati maisha itakuwa bora. Huu ni urongo mtupu. They will still struggle. They will still die. They will fall in sicknesses. Lakini sisi kwa sababu ya kukaa katika maombi throughout magonjwa hii itatoroka yote hii itaisha yote haitaweza kutokaribia mapepo ikituona inapiga salute na kukimbia kwa jina la Yesu haleluya haleluya kwa hivyo wasikutishe wasikubabaishe Waambie tuna ngoja huo wakati maana andiko linasema hapo ndipo penye subira ya watakatifu hapo wanasubiri hapo subira ya watakatifu mama mmoja akaniuliza swali kule ruiru semina ile sasa mtu wa Mungu tuambie sasa ikiwa sasa watoto wangu mzee amewachukua kwa nguvu akawapeleka shule na sasa wamepewa nemis namba sasa mtu wa Mungu si Yesu ana, anaweza kuwarehemu kwa sababu sikupenda kwao na hawajui nikamuuliza mama hebu sikiza nikuulize Sodoma na Gomora kulikuwa na watoto. Akasema ndio. Hata wengine walikuwa wamebebwa matumboni. Ndio. Walichomwa wote au kuchomwa? Walichomwa. Bas, wote watachomwa. Kamuuliza siku za nuu garika, kulikuwa na watoto? E, wakinyonya na wengine matumboni. E, walizama maji wote ndio hata hawa watazama kwa ndani ya moto tuambia muulize michael jackson aliingizwa kwa illuminati freemason akiwa mtoto alipokuwa mtu mzima asijue akiwa mtoto ya kwamba ameingizwa kwa shetani na akasaini mwenyewe akaweka signature baadaye alipokuwa mtu mzima Michael Jackson akatambua ya kwamba aliuza nafsi yake kwa shetani akasema I sold my soul to the devil I want to go back to the end of his life first and break down what really happened to Mike We'll begin with a speech that he gave in London where he deals with the music industry and his record label You know, um, let me just say this. The tradition, the tradition of great 
performers from, and, and I really want you to hear what I have to say, the tradition of great performers from Sammy Davis Jr. to James Brown to Jackie Wilson. The story is usually the same though, you know, these guys work really hard at their craft, but the story ends the same. They usually are broken, torn, and usually just sad, and the story is very sad in the end, because the companies take advantage of them. They really do. And, you know, being the artist that I am, um, at Sony, I, I, I've generated several billion dollars for Sony. Several billion. And um, they, they really thought that my mind is always on music and dancing. And, and, I, and it usually is, but they never thought that this performer myself would outthink them. Yeah! So um, we can't let them get away with, the, with what they're trying to do because. Now I'm a free agent. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I just owe Sony one more album. It's just a box set, really. Uh, I can do the box set and just give them any two songs. So, <laughs> so I'm leaving Sony a free agent, owning half of Sony. So. I own half of Sony's publishing and and I'm leaving them and they they're very angry at me because of it but um, I just I just did good business you know it's, so the way they get revenge is to try and destroy my album okay let me explain this basically what Mike is saying is this under his contract he only had to do one more album and then he would be out of his contract with Sony and he was going to leave Sony owning half the company. Now Sony didn't like that. So when he made his album called Invincible, Sony didn't promote it and they did everything they could do to make sure it didn't sell as a way to get back at Mike for wanting to leave. Now you got to understand, Michael Jackson had a 30 year relationship with Sony. He made them a lot of money. He said, I generated several billion dollars. So Sony wasn't going to let Mike just walk away scot-free. They had to do something. All right, let's go back to the speech. Thank you. I love Unbreakable. You know, and Tommy Mottola is a devil. <laughs> See, during the end of his life, Michael Jackson started to speak out against the things that was going on in the music industry. But it was much more than him just trying to get out of a record contract. Mike was involved in something much bigger than that, and he was frustrated with the situation he was in. So out of frustration, he called Tommy Mottola a devil. And Tommy Mottola is a devil. Now, Tommy Mottola was the head of Sony Music at that time. And Michael Jackson and Tommy Mottola didn't get along at all because Mike knew that he was only being used by Tommy Mottola. Mike was tired of being a slave and he wanted his freedom. Now, Michael's father, Joe Jackson, got Michael and his brothers into the music industry when they were young kids. Michael was always the standout star. So the Illuminati came after him. They knew he would be the one to bring in the big money. So they told little Mike, everything he wanted to hear and they promised him the whole world all he had to do to get it was sign his life away and sell his soul to the devil and sell his soul to the devil and sell his soul to the devil aliuza nafsi yake kwa shetani akasema i sold my soul to the devil and sell his soul to the devil and sell his soul to the devil and sell his soul to the devil Na baada ya kuwa ametambua aliingia bila kujua. Alipotambua akaanza kutafuta mbinu ya kutoka kwa Freemason na Illuminati. Unajua nini kilimpata? Eh mauti ilimkuta. If you want to make the world a better place 
it was a bizarre set of circumstances. He just made a very bad decision. Take a look at yourself. He didn't know who he was. He was a house of cards. And then make a change. That was the beginning of the end for him. Famous or infamous, one of the best known people on the planet ever. Without a doubt, Michael Jackson's worth more dead than alive. People wanted him dead. He was afraid that something's not right. Michael told me that they were going to murder him. Michael Jackson, the king of pop, has died. Who killed him? Was it an overdose? Many people thought that Michael was murdered. Maybe he committed suicide. It couldn't have been deliberate, could it? Who saw him last? What was he doing? The doctor's been the only one here. He said that Michael Jackson drifted off. In a career spanning four decades, Michael Jackson left behind a musical legacy of 13 number one singles, an estimated 750 million worldwide record sales, and a lifetime worth of $2 billion. But on June 25th, 2009, while deep in preparation for his highly anticipated comeback tour, This Is It, Michael overdosed on sleep medication and died of heart failure, aged just 50 years old. Days before his death, Michael mysteriously said, They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. Fans all over the world were in shock. But for the Jackson family, Michael's death came as no surprise. And according to them, it was no accident. My heart, and I said my brother was murdered. It was a conspiracy. Was Michael's death the work of foul play? To answer that, we must look at the clues from the time of Michael's death. Exhibit A, propofol intoxication. The two autopsies performed on Michael's body both concluded that he died of acute propofol intoxication. Propofol is a powerful sedative used to anesthetize patients before surgery. Michael's personal physician, Dr. Conrad Murray, had prescribed propofol to treat his insomnia. But according to sleep expert, Dr. Nader Kamanga, Unmonitored use of surgical anesthetic is dangerous and should never be prescribed as a sleep remedy. In November 2011, Dr. Murray was found guilty of second-degree murder for prescribing Michael Jackson dangerous amounts of propofol. The court imposes four years imprisonment in this case. The defendant caused the death of Michael Jackson. But the story doesn't end here. Dr. Murray may have killed through negligence, but Murray was hired by Michael Jackson's entertainment promoter, AEG Live. Was this an unfortunate medical mishap, or did music mogul's AEG have something to do with Michael's demise? Exhibit B, AEG Live. Michael had a long history of tensions with his bosses. Tensions between the pop star and his record label, Sony, were apparent at least a decade previous to his death, when Michael released this. His controversial 1995 hit, They Don't Care About Us, is an explicit attack against power and inequality, which many have interpreted as a direct critique of the music industry and its poor treatment of musical performers. In 2002, Michael echoed these views when he called Sony chairman Tommy Mottola the devil after the company tried to destroy his comeback album, Invincible. Tommy Mottola is the president of the record division. He is a mean, he's a racist, and he's very, very, very devilish. The record companies really, really do conspire against their artists. They steal, they cheat, they do whatever they can. Michael had publicly outed the power and injustice of the music industry. And in June 2009, the story was the same. But this time, under heavy pressure to rehearse for his entertainment promoters AEG Live, Michael's health began to deteriorate rapidly. In 2013, Michael Jackson's family filed a lawsuit against AEG. The Jackson family lawyers argued that during the critical run-up to This Is It, AEG ignored Michael's deteriorating health and threatened Dr. Murray into pumping Michael with heavy sedatives so that he could be rested for rehearsals. AEG contend that Michael had full control over his medication and is responsible for his own death. But propofol works within 40 seconds of administration meaning that it would have been almost impossible for Michael to inject himself with a lethal dose of the drug. Exhibit C, The Night Before. 
they're going to kill me. Michael said these words in confidence to his son, Prince, and he was referring to the CEO of AEG Live, Randy Phillips. At Dr. Murray's trial in November 2011, Prince testified that the night before his father's death, Randy Phillips visited Michael's mansion while Michael was at rehearsal, and aggressively threatened Dr. Murray. The next day, Michael died. Whether it was Dr. Murray, AEG, or the pop star himself, we may never know why Michael took that fatal dose of propofol. Perhaps the only certainty we can draw from Michael's death is that he dedicated his life to the entertainment of others, and that ultimately, it was that dedication that killed him. Mauti ilimkuta. Kambia haya kama utosheki na ulisa kanumba. Hapa Tanzania. Aliweka saini mwenyewe ili apate fame. Hawe na utajiri. Hawe mtu tajika. Ajulikane. Hawe mtu wa shifa. Akaweka saini. Akauza nafsi yake kwa shetani. Well, in exchange, alipata fame, alipata sifa, alipata utajiri. Lekini punde kanumba alipotambua ya kwamba aliuza roo yake kwa shetani. Alipotambua kitaka kutoka. Unajua nini kile mpata? Mauti ili mpata. Na leo, Watu hawa wote wako kuzim. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu walitaka mema ya shetani. Walitaka uzuri wa shetani. Walitaka raha ya dunia. Walitamani mambo ya ulimwengu huu. Kamuliza na hili ni jambo dogo. Umeletewa fomu. Ujaze mwenyewe Fomu ya nemis Ukaandika vitu vya kwa vyote pale Kila kitu, kila kitu Halapu ufale chini Unaambua weka saini Ukatia saini Unajua umefanya nini? Umekuisha kuuza Roo yako Kwa hivyo watoto unao niambia mama Majina yao Yako kuzimu Kaambia kuna kuja namba huko Na watoto enu ndiyo wataanza Nataka ujue leo For your information Get it right Watoto what Walio sajili wandani ya nemis What Majina yao ya kukuzimu sahi Na wawe nyewe Sasa ni iliminati Na iliminati what Wanangoja ziwa la moto kwa hivyo, tuwache kuongea bari ya watoto wako Tuongea bari yako wewe Na nafsi yako Hao tayari usha poteza Sasa, tafuta roho yako Maana yako inaleto Fumu inakuja ya unique number Nemi sisi yako inakuja Sasa wewe ambaye bado Ndiyo nimetumwa ni kuambie Okoa roho yako labda wanao waliyesabiwa jahanamu na hauna la kufanya zaidi mambo si rahisi wapendwa mambo si rahisi mwanafunzi mmoja alikuja hapo kwa mkutano baadaye akaniambia mimi nilipewa hiyo namba Na sasa Mimi saa hii nimeingia form 4 Na nime drop, nime kimbia, sita kitena Nika muambia mimi sina suluhisho Nenda wewe mwenyewe Sijui kama mutaambiana vipi na yesu Mana siku pewa away out Ya anaingia vila ataweza kutoka Siku pewa hiyo Kwa hivyo kama mutaambiana vipi, mutaambiana vipi, paka mkubaliane, yeye ni muumba. 
mimi ni mwanadamu itakuwa sasa ni wewe na yeye lakini ninachojua kwa fikia sasa is too late for you msidanganywe na mtu ya kwamba kuna maisha mazuri kupitia kwa unique number msidanganywe na mtu yeyote hata kama yeye anajiita president there is no way a human being like you mwanadamu kama wewe mtu ambaye ni wadamu na nyama kama wewe anaweza kukupa wewe maisha bora hakuna serikali yoyote hii dunia inaweza toa maisha bora kwa mtu na hakuna siku promise za shetani zitashinda promise za Yesu hakuna siku mwanadamu akikwambia nitakupa kuku utakuwa ukikula kuku kwangu kila siku ukikubaliana na mimi katika haya Yesu anakuambia nitakupa mana isiyofanana na kuku. Hata hiyo kuku ni mali yake, ni kazi ya mikono yake. Kitembea na Yesu. Mimi napenda kutembea na Yesu. Mimi Yesu ameniambia niwaambie wanadamu msibabaishwe na promise zao msibabaishwe na uzuri unaonekana kwa macho anayo mengi mazuri yaliyofichika rohoni muangalieni yeye na bado maisha ndani ya Yesu yatakuwa bora kuliko maisha ndani za dunia na ulimwengu na Yesu hizo machakula zao za technology zimejaa sumu inafaa inatosha imani ikafanye kazi tule kwa imani tuishi kwa imani tupone kwa imani tutembee kwa imani acha nimeambiwa kuna dada yetu yule wa kutoka likoni dada yetu Mary yule wa underground volume 4 yule ambaye alitoa ushuhuda tukiwa kule migadini yuko hapa wamekuja na mtumishi Timothy kwa sababu ana ujumbe ana nini ana message roho mtakatifu amemhudumia akampa ujumbe wa kuwaambia wanadamu 
na wacha itakuwa vizuri tuwaambie maana muda umemalizika wapendwa tungangangeni jitolee asioni tukienda muda mrefu tuki tukifanya ama tukitoa fedha kwa sababu ya kufadhili kazi za Yesu muda ni mchache ni mfupi na tayari sheria itatolewa wakijua ya kwamba kuna watu wamekataa kuchukua kitu kinaitwa huduma namba basi sheria itatolewa ya kwamba sasa hakuna kitu unaweza kufanya bila hiyo na hiyo pesa yako kama haijaunganishwa na huduma namba itakuwa useless zile ndoto zilikuwa zikishuhudiwa hapa ya kwamba fedha imekuwa makaratasi imekuwa ma, 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 majani ya kupigwa mate itatimia hivi karibuni sasa wahubiri waliokuwa wakipiga vita injili niliyotumwa na Yesu kuihubiri sasa nione watawaambia nini washirika wao tuko pamoja na saa hii saa hii habari ya kubembelezwa iliisha saa hii tunakwambia shule sema injili hiyo hauijui imetoka wapi Mukase, wakasema makenzi ni muongo waambieni sasa wakachukua hiyo huduma na saa imefika na ni ya mwisho mwache ibada ya mwili waliikimbia injili hii sasa waambieni waende wakachukue unique personal identifier number waende wakachukue waambieni sasa wakachukue hiyo huduma na yes alafu tungoje wengine walipoisikia wakajua ehe lile watu nalipinga kumbe ilikuwa litakuja wanasema ati tutakemea isije itaingia mpaka bedroom pamoja na kukemea tena kesha sana ukikemea nani alikwambia kuna maombi inaweza zuia unabii usitimizwe tuko pamoja tuko pamoja lakini ni vizuri ni vizuri ili jambo limekuja ili tutoke babeli ni vizuri tena pia ni vizuri nimekauka kwa miaka mingi nikiwaambia wanadamu waje kwa Yesu maana mnyama anaenda kusimama hawakusikia ni vizuri hata mimi nipumzike na wanapotungo wote na hiyo nambari sina injili nyingine ya kuwahubiri ya watu wao injili hiyo itakuwa imefika mwisho kwa hivyo hata kutembea kuzunguka kutaisha tarudi mkoroshoni pale ni ngoje kile kitaupata ulimwengu na ni ngoje Yesu anichukue niende maana kazi imeisha kazi imeisha sasa wacha kuona shida kukosa kabeji na sima si shida kukosa roho mtakatifu ndiyo shida kukosa mchele na chips si shida kukosa kupanda magari ikutoe hapa ikupeleke pale au kutembea na si shida shida ni kukosa mbingu shida ni kukosa uzima wa milele hiyo ndiyo shida maisha itakuwa mzuri kwa wote ule i tell you wewe fikiria haurauki kwenda kwa kibarua 
lakini we unaishi wakienda mbio masokoni kwa sababu wako na chapa na masupermarket wewe umepumzika kwako nyumbani na unashibishwa kwa upepo unakaa hata wiki mbili wewe hauna chakula cha mtu unauliza unasikia uko sawa maisha iko zaidi nzuri kama hiyo jemeni hauendi kuinua kokoto na matofali ya mjengo bwana wewe ni kwa imani mambo iko bora iko sawa iko sambamba wacheni kutishika acheni kubabaika we shall have a very good life tutakuwa na maisha mazuri ndani ya Kristo malaika watafanya kazi kwa ajili yetu ni watumishi wetu lazima watutumikie safari hii. Lazima watutumikie. Walete maana usiku na mchana. Walete maana tu. Tumerudi siku za wana wa Israeli na Musa. Amepitishwa jangwani na yule mnyama aitwaye Farao. Hakuna maji hakuna chakula hakuna moto wa kuwasha je walikula walikunywa walitembea maandiko yanasema hata viatu vyao havikuisha soli wala mavazi walioyavaa hayakuchakaa 40 years the wilderness amevaa basi moja usiku na mchana miaka arobaini na isichakae isichanike kiatu kisiiche soli kuna maisha mzuri zaidi ya hii rutembea na yesu za marais na wakuu wa dunia hii false promises ahadi za uongo tuirudi katika ahadi za kweli za Yesu Kristo tuingie katika ahadi za kweli na safari hii anaenda kutimiza ahadi zote zake kwa watu wake pesa na wewe unaishi una kazi na wewe unaishi watu waache kunipigia simu wakiniambia niombee nipate kazi hachana na hiyo kasumba ahadi za bwana zimefika tutaishi bila kazi tutaishi bila chakula chao tutaishi bila maji yao tutaishi bila mavazi yao tutatembea bila magari yao tutaishi bila madawa na sisi tutaishi kwa jina la Yesu Good life tunaishi bila pesa tunaishi bila kazi na tunaishi tu 
lazima tuwe tu, tu, tuonje utamu wa maisha ya mbinguni. Ulisikia huko tutaenda kufanya kazi ya mjengo? Alafu hey. <laughs> Ama ulisikia tutarauka huko? Tukimbilie pesa pale baharini. Pwani pale. Na asubuhi. Lazima tuonjeshwe hapa hapa. Lazima tuonje hapa hapa. Ama ulisikia huko mbinguni kuna kwenda kuuza na kununua huko. Ulisikia kuna fiosiki huko? Alafu. <laughs> Angalia nakumati hivi na tasikisi saa hii. Huko hakuna huko. Huko tunaishi tu. Kama malaika tunaishi tu. Tena hakuna usiku wala mchana. Ulisikia tutasinzia huko? Nani alikwambia kuna kulala huko? Hakuna kungorota na kuota ndoto ni hapa hapa wota umalize. Ati ati anaangalia kwenda mbinguni angoje ati ati mvua ya mwaka itanyesha pande mahindi. Hakuna mashamba huko. Tutaishi kama malaika. Na ni lazima tuonje hapa. Lazima tuonje tukifika huko tumezoea tumekwisha yajua Lazima tuonje Shetani alikuwa amekuja na marembo yake mengi ili atupumbaze sisi macho na akili Tumusahau Muumba wetu hatutamsahau tumemkumbuka leo kwa jina la Yesu ya kuwa muumba wetu yuko hai aliyetumba yuai tena anaishi milele na milele tutamtumikia yeye paka dakika ya mwisho tutamtumikia yeye haleluya dada meri njo njo wapatie ujumbe wa mataifa limwengu wote hivi karibuni siku chache tu MTV itagonga pembe nne zote za nchi ya Kenya wataisikia kila mahali hata kama ni kwa miezi ya kuhesabu nataka tuelewe ya kwamba hiyo miezi ya kuhesabu tutapendua ulimwengu wa Kenya ikiwa hewani tu hivi hata igonge miezi mitatu ama sita my friend Nitarudi mkoroshoni nipumzike kazi nimefunga chapter. Hapo sasa nianze kuangalia wakuu wa dunia, wakuu wa sheria na wakuu wa serikali watafanya nini sasa. Bana kisaani nimekipendua kama wamelala. Haleluya. Haleluya. Lazima 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 shetani alie. Lazima alie tu. Wacha tusikie kwa dada Mary. Karibu. Hallelujah. Hasifiwe Yesu wapendwa. 
Nami ni mzima mchana wa leo namshukuru Yesu. Haleluya. Niko sehemu za likoni chini ya mtumishi Yesu. Haleluya. Yesu ndiye alianzisha kanisa la likoni na yeye ndiye anayezidi kutuongoza katika safari ya imani. Haleluya. Alipoianzisha aliweka mtumishi wake ambaye ni mtumishi Timoth. Haleluya. Tuko naye mahali pale. Hakika Mungu anazidi kututia nguvu. Haleluya. Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu wapendwa. Mungu wetu ni wa ajabu. Nataka nishuhudie kitu kidogo tu. Wakati nilikuwa kuzimu. Haleluya. Huyu Yesu alinishangaza. Mtu mimi sijui kuomba. Nilinyang'anywa hata Biblia sijui hata kusoma. Hata maombi sijui hata kuomba. Haleluya. Lakini Yesu akanishukia. Niko kuzimu na Yesu anazidi kunitetea na kunitia nguvu. Basi nilioneshwa mfano mmoja. Nilifundishwa kuomba kihivi. Niliambiwa kana kwamba kama unataka kuomba Chukua kiti heka hapo. Chukua chengine heka hapa. Haleluya. Takasa, ambia Yesu, karibu tuketi tusungumzane. Haleluya. Basi vile nikashuhudiwa nikichukua kiti nikiweka pale hapa nimemwambia Yesu aketi mimi nami hapa nimekaa. Yule mwingine atakayekuwa amesimama anangoja hata ngoja. Haleluya. Mimi huku nazidi kuzungumza na Yesu. Naeleza Yesu shida zangu. Nikikwisha maliza kumweleza, Yesu anaenda na ile barua, shetani huku anangoja aketi. Ninaamka maana nimechoka nimezungumza na Yesu wangu. Haleluya. Jamani pigia Yesu makofi. Huyu Yesu ni mwalimu hakika. Hakika Yesu ni mwalimu wapendwa. Nilizidi kuzingatia yale. Nikazidi kumwomba Mungu kwa hakika na niliona ametenda. Haleluya. Nitatoa ndoto moja, mjue jinsi Yesu anavyotumia watu wake. Jinsi Yesu anavyo yani anavyotaka mtu amtumikie hata kama kwa kuzimu. Haleluya. Siku moja nikaota ndoto nimelala. Yaani Niliona mahali hapo nimejifungua. Haleluya. Nimejifungua na niko mahali kwa mti na mti huo uko na branch mbili. Na katikati kwa huo mti kuna shimo. Nikashuhudiwa pale kwa mti kuna ngazi. Na ninaita mtoto wangu aje na nataka kumtuma. Pale pale Mtoto yule alipanda ile ngazi na haraka, yule mtoto akaanguka kwa ile shimo. Haleluya. Basi nikashuhudia haraka, ni mtume yule mtoto azunguke amchukue yule mwenzake. Pale pale nikashuhudia wale wenzangu kwa katika manyumba wanamtumatuma yule mtoto asiende kumchukua. Basi niliruka mara moja nikaenda nikachukua yule mtoto nilipofika nilipata hajafa nilimfungua hivi kwa mkono manake nilishuhudiwa ni kama kifaranga cha kuku nilipomwangalia mtoto alifungua jicho moja haliponiangalia yani hakutaka ajulikane na wale magaidi kama yeye ako hai nikashuhudiwa pale pale nimechukua kikapu nikachukua matawi ya ndizi nikamweka pale katikaeka pale katikati nikachukua kile kifaranga nikakiweka katikati wale magaidi wakawa nasema amekufa amekufa hashukuruwe Yesu kwa ndoto hiyo pale pale kwa ndoto nikatoka nikaenda na kikapu changu mkononi nilipofika mbele yule mtoto alinishangaza manake haliongea Mtoto alifungua macho akaniambia mama wanakuja 
nao wale watu wakao wananifuata kutaka thibitisho ya kwamba yule mtoto amekufa hama bado haleluya basi walipofika nilishuhudiwa ya kwamba nimevaa dera na leso mtoto yule aliniambia mama nitoe kwa kikapu ni heke ndani kaza leso nikae pale ndani ndivyo nilivyofanya masaa haya na dakika hiyo hiyo wale watu wakafika wakasema nani kweli ayuko yule mtoto pale ndani halinishangaza halishika mbavu huku mpaka nikashindwa lakini kuna kitu kimoja aliniambia watu wale walipokuwa wanasherekea mtoto aliniambia mama waambie wakasome zaburi moja na tisa kuanzia mstari wa kwanza hadi wa tano nikamwambia mtoto mimi sijui maandiko mbona mimi sijui maandiko mtoto akaniambia mama waambie na venye nazidi kusema wa anazidi kuniambia waambie ananichuna huku basi hili bidi niseme pale pale Zaburi tisa kuanzia mstari wa kwanza hadi wa tano mkasome na nikaamka Zaburi tisa kuanzia mstari wa kwanza mpaka mstari wa tano Mara nyingi wamenitesa tangu ujana wangu Israeli na aseme sasa Mara nyingi wamenitesa tangu ujana wangu lakini hawakuniweza wakulima wamelima mgongoni mwangu wamefanya mirefu mifuo yao Bwana ndiye mwenye haki amezikata kamba zao wasio haki na waibishwe warudishwe nyuma wote wanaoichukia sayuni barikiwe haleluya basi yule mtoto halinipa maneno halinipa hicho kitabu niwaambie waende wasome haleluya nikazidi zaidi kumwambia Mungu asidi kunitia nguvu katika safari ya imani ilipofika wakati fulani wanaoni jua walijua kwamba nilikuwa na mtoto mdogo Wapendwa ilifika mahali. Yule mtoto hakaniacha. Watu wengi upenda kuzungumza ya kwamba kwamba ndoto kwao hazina tatizo. Mpendwa nataka nikujulisha na kukuambia siku ya leo kwamba ndoto ukifuatilizia huja kutimia. Haleluya. Pale palo umepata ndoto, piga goti mwambie Mungu, nifundishe zaidi. Usipate ndoto na useme, nimepata hiyo ni ameri, lakini ndoto hiyo inaweza kuwa ni yako wewe. Haleluya. Usipate ndoto usikie imefumbwa fumbwa. Useme hiyo ndoto venye nimeiona ni ameri. Haleluya. Inaweza kuwa hata yako. Haleluya. Inaweza kuwa hata yako mpendwa basi ilikuwa ni hiyo wiki nyingine mtoto akafariki na alipofariki mpendwa nilikuwa na wakati mgumu lakini Yesu mwenyewe halitenda mapenzi yake kazi ya Mungu haina makosa mpendwa haina makosa kujaribiwa na mtoto kufa sio kitu hiyo maana pale mbele Mungu mwenyewe anajua kilicho mbele. Wenda ikawa alijua huyu Mary nataka ni anitumikie. Lakini kupitia yule mtoto hataweza. Ikabidi achukue mali yake manake mimi sikuwa na mtoto mimi. Haleluya. Hila ni mali yake. Basi Yesu mwenyewe nikiwa katika wakati ule wa kuzunika. Pendwa Yesu halinishangaza mtoto alikufa siku ya Alhamisi tukasafirisha mochari na siku ya Jumamosi 
wiki hiyo hii yenye nazidi kuomboleza Yesu akanipa kitabu nikashuhudiwa tuko mahali mafundisho na tuko tumeekewa viiti vya white na kila mtu ako na kalamu na sasa mafundisho yenye tunafundishwa mtu huyo anafundisha kamba anagombana alipo matayo sita tano kuanzia tano hadi mstari wa 10 kufika mstari wa 14 tena msalipo usiwe kama wanafiki kwa maana wao wapenda kusali hali wamesimama katika masinagogi na katika pembe zinjia ili waonekane na watu amini na waambia wamekwisha kupata thawabu yao bali wewe usalipo ingia katika chumba chako cha ndani na ukisha kufunga mlango wako usali mbele za baba yako aliye sirini na baba yako aonaye sirini atakujazi nanyi mkiwa katika kusali sipayuke payuke kama watu wa mataifa maana wao hudhani ya kuwa watasikiwa kwa sababu ya maneno yao kuwa mengi basi msifanane na hao maana baba yenu anajua mnayohitaji kabla ninyi hamjamwomba basi ninyi salini hivi baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako uje mapenzi yako yatimizwe hapa duniani kama huko mbinguni utupe leo riziki yetu utusamehe deni zetu kama sisi nasi tuwasamehevyo wa deni wetu na ustutie majaribuni lakini utuokoe na yule mwovu kwa kuwa ufalme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele amina kwa maana mkiwasamehe watu makosa yao na baba yenu wa mbinguni atawasamehe ninyi bali msipowasamehe watu makosa yao wala baba yenu hata wasamehe ninyi makosa yenu haleluya tulifundishwa hicho kitabu nilipofika siku ya Jumapili ilibidi nisimame mbele ya kanisa na niseme neno hilo haleluya siku hiyo ya Jumapili tunaamkia Jumatatu twende tufuate mwili niko katika mawazo niko katika fikra zingine haleluya hata hakili haikuwa siku nimeiweka kwamba nina mgeni yeyote anaweza kuja kwangu kunitembelea haleluya wapendwa Yesu wanatupenda piga Yesu makofi wapendwa jamani Yesu wetu wanatupenda jamani. Haleluya. Sijui kama wewe unasikia jinsi mimi ninavyosikia. Haleluya. Huyu Yesu ni ajabu. Hole wako mwenye wanasema hakuna Mungu. Hole wako mwenye wanasema hakuna mashetani na hata shetani pia umjui. Hole wako. Haleluya. Siku hiyo hiyo ya juma, ndio namkie Jumatatu Nimezoea kuomba Usiku naamka naomba niliomba maombi yangu kama kawaida nikajipumzisha kidogo Tega sikio lako usikie hili Maana Kenya kati zinaenda siku imefika Utasema Nilisikia hilo neno wakati mwingine na hautaliona tena itakuwa ndo wakati umefika. Haleluya. Nilikuwa nimepumzika kidogo. Sijashikwa na usingizi ile kabisa. Nikasikia sauti hikinena na asira. 
kana kwamba inahuzunika Hiki sema Niliwatoa miziri maana nilimtuma mtumishi wangu Musa Hikaregelea tena Nimewatoa katika sheta, mikono ya shetani Nikamuinua mtumishi mmoja ambaye ni makenzi Mtumishi huyu yani venye alikuwa anaongea huyo mtu jamani kana kwamba hana kitu kimemkwaza ndani ya roho yake. Haleluya. Anasema mtumishi huyu halikuwa ni mtu wa kunyenyekea. Hata kama alikuwa anahubiri injili ya kidunia. Haleluya. Yaani alikuwa ni mtu wa kunyenyekea Ndipo Mungu akamhurumia Haje atutoe sisi kwa mkono wa Farao ambapo ni shetani Haleluya Mimi hata saa hizi ukiniuliza ni kitabu gani cha Musa mimi sijui Haleluya Saa hizi uniambie fungua Mathayo sijui ni wapi Haleluya isipokuwa yale nilifundisha hivyo vitabu unajua Haleluya Huyu Yesu ni wa ajabu Tamani hata wewe akufundishe Haleluya Mtumishi huyu alipoendelea kuongea akasema Wana wa Israeli walikuwa wanateswa wanapitia mambo mengi magumu katika mkono wa farao haleluya ndio sisi sasa katika mkono ule wa shetani tumeteseka na madawa tumepitia vifungo tofauti hata kutiwa magarazani tumetiwa lakini bado Yesu akatuhurumia akasema natuma msa akawatoa kwa mkono wa farao ambapo ni sisi sasa leo hii tumetumiwa mtumishi wa Mungu makenzi akapata kutuelekeza njia kwenda kanaani Haleluya Haleluya Kulimuona wapi mtumishi mwingine anahubiri mambo ya madawa na elimu kama huyu Huli mwana wapi na mkono? Haleluya. Ni Musa si Musa. Ni Musa si Musa. Mungu wetu wadanganyi wapendwa. Sauti hiyo ilikuwa ya kusikitisha. Kana kwamba hatujaamini kwamba ni Yesu ametumana. Haleluya. Tulipotumiwa Musa tulijanganya nyanganya kungangana ngangana tutoke. Manake tumejua, tumeletewa mkombozi, tunakohenda tunajua ni kuzuri. Haleluya. Tukangangana tukabeba mamevitu zetu twende na msa. Tulipofika mbele tumesahau ya farao aliyokuwa anatufanyia. Kumbuka pia kupigwa tulipigwa. Ambapo ni kutiwa magerezani. Kwa sasa, haleluya. Tulibandikwa na mizigo ya elimu kupotezwa. Haleluya. Tulibebeshwa mizigo mingi ya pole na pole kuingizwa kwa vyama. Haleluya. Lakini Yesu hakamtuma Musa. Siku ya leo ule wako umeketi, haujui kama Musa yuko. Haleluya. Usijue msa yuko wewe. Sisi twajitahidi, tumetolewa kuzimu, tunajiandaa, tunateremka na msa tunaenda. Haleluya. Haleluya. Sisi tunateremka na msa tunaenda. Sauti ile ikazingatia ikasema. Holeo wenu. 
Mahana wana Waisraeli walitumia zile vitu vyao mikufu kutengeneza ndama wamwabudu kama Mungu wao. Haleluya. Jiulize wewe uko na marembo? Haleluya. Wewe uko na marembo? Ngoja nikulete sasa. Haleluya. Yesu hasungumzi marembo haya kwa sasa. Manake hanajua tumeshatoa. Haleluya. Wangapi wako na shaka na injili? Wangapi wako na shaka na imani? Wangapi? Mpendwa dada yangu kaka yangu baba yangu. Kama una shaka jitoe pole pole. Manake kama unashindwa na haya hapo mbele uwazi. Ni pagumu. Usicheza na kuangalia mtoto anakatika hivi 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 na anaenda utaweza. Haleluya. Na kama unashindwa na hayo, haya ya kufungwa utaweza. Haya ya kupigwa mitaregi kama Yesu utaweza. Ya kubeba msalaba utaweza. Huwezi. Haleluya. Huwezi mpendwa. Marembo yao haya wakayatengeneza ndama sasa wao usie kuwa nayo marembo nafsi yako hii ndio itakuwa inamuumba Mungu mwingine haleluya hii nafsi yako ile shaka ya kwamba jamani hii njili ni ya kweli haleluya kwa hivyo shaka hakuna ni kuenda na kuenda haleluya nikashuhudiwa ya kwamba mtafika mbele lakini wengi wenu watamtengeneza ndama ndama huyu wao hawana marembo lakini watamtengeneza kihivi umefika kule sasa kimeumana sasa nyinyi mtumishi hako mahombi ye, nyinyi wengine pia wako mahombi lakini kuna wenye watabaki nyuma kuulizana eh hata afadhali kule kwa elimu unajua kule tulikuwa tunakula vizuri kule tulikuwa ni sima na nyama kila siku sasa huku ni wapi kwa kukula pumzi huku mimi hata sielewi umemuumba Mungu mwingine haleluya Huyo ni Mungu mwingine ameumba mpendwa. Ndani ya moyo wako umekwisha muache Yesu. Umeanza kufikiria mambo ya sima na nyama ya kwa kishetani ni yaru kuwa hivi ulivyo mpendwa lakini una kitu ndani ya moyo wako wakati ukifika kwenye kulio unaenda mali pema. Haleluya. Yesu anatupenda wapendwa. Haleluya. Yesu anatupenda zaidi. Kwa hivyo kama ulikuwa na shaka, ondoa shaka. Sema najua Yesu hupo na hupo na utazidi kuwapo. Haleluya. Vya shetani ni vya muda, vya Yesu wetu ni vya milele. Kwa nini tusimtukuze huyo Yesu? Ametutendea makuu wapendwa. Haleluya kama ni magerezani tukae tayari gari ikisimama jipange hamka masomo si mpango wa Mungu elimu si mpango wa Mungu madaktari ubiri pale pale ukiwa na ujasiri jua Yesu wetu ana nguvu na mamlaka haleluya usitishike shike wataanza kukuuliza mama wewe habari yako mzuri unaenda matoto kwa nini waendi shule haleluya Simama na msimamo mmoja. Na huo msimamo utakao kuwa nao basi Yesu wetu anataka msimamo wako. Haleluya. Msimamo wako ndio Yesu anataka. Anataka ajue mtoto wangu huyu ana msimamo gani. Haleluya. Wapendwa Halipokuwa anazingatia yale maneno mimi mwenyewe nili, nilisikia kububujiko na machozi. Hakasema 
ndani yenu mtasalitiana haleluya ndipo pale utakapokuja kanisani na mme wako ama na mtoto wako haleluya hakija kutega mambo ya hapa mkifika nyumbani amekugeuka na anaijua imani vizuri si ataijui hata kwambie mama nataka kupeleka mtoto shule ama baba nataka kupeleka mtoto shule ni wewe imani yako ikusimamishe utakaa na bwana upeleka mtoto shule na umejua ukweli hao utaacha bwana umshike Yesu haleluya Yesu wetu ni wa upendo haleluya unababaika oh mmeko ndani oh mtoto ameenda oh sijakula hayo yote Yesu sana jua Haleluya. Hiyo yote ni kazi yake na unaambiwa kazi ya Yesu haina makosa. Haleluya. Kazi ya Yesu haina makosa. Shukuruni kwa kila jambo. Utakapolala njaa mwambie Yesu asante. Nitakapofungwa, Yesu asante. Mtoto akienda, Yesu asante. Haleluya. Wangapi wanaweza hilo? Haleluya. Wangapi wanaweza? Wapendwa tusimsaliti Yesu. Haleluya. Tusimsaliti Yesu wapendwa. Ni nyakati za mwisho. Kuzimu wameamka. Zidi vile mnazidi kukemea na kuharibu ngome zao ndivyo wanazidi kukaa mikutano. Haleluya. Wakisema elimu hii ni lazima kwa kila mtoto. Unadhani wanasema ni lazima kwa kina nani? Haleluya. Ni kwangu mimi na wewe mwenye mtoto wako haendi shule. Unadhani ni kwa kina nani? Haleluya. Sasa ni wewe wakati tafitishwa useme mimi wamesema watoto wanaenda shule na mimi naogopa askari. Haleluya. Haleluya. Ukibabaika babaika shetani anasema ndio rudi tena Ubabaike tena shetani anasema mvute na nyuma Ukibabaika tena Yesu amejishika namna hii Mtoto wangu siku zote ni nini huu unafanya Umetegwa na chakula umetegwa na mavazi umetegwa na mambo mengi ya kishetani Watasema hata shule ni bure, kila uniform ni bure, school fee ni bure, wewe hapo utasema ah kweli wacha niachilie mtoto wangu. Haleluya. Hole wako umpeleke na unakuja unasikiza injili ya kwamba elimu ni dhambi, kuna huduma namba na unasikiliza na mtoto anaenda shule na umesaini kila kitu. Yesu wetu si muongo, ataleta ndoto tutakujua uko katika safari hii ya kwenda Kanaani ama utaenda kutusaliti Haleluya Tunataka tutambue wapendwa Safari ya Kanaani haitaki mchezo Haleluya Haitaki mchezo Sijui kwa nini Yesu akaniletea hayo Yesu wetu labda alichua Kuna wenye tunaenda nao warudi nyuma tuvute. Haleluya. Mtoto pia atatumika kukuvuta. Baba au mama atatumika kukuvuta. Mimi kuna kitu nilisema. Nikataliwe na wasasi wangu, nikataliwe na matirani, nitukano na wasasi na watoto, ni mkubali Yesu wangu, halianitoa kusimu. Haleluya! Sio gapi wapendwa wala sitatemeki. Haleluya! Yesu akifanya kazi yake wacha afanye. Ye mwenyewe wewe ako na lengo na sababu kwa nini afanye hili? Usimkosoe Mungu kwa mambo yake anayoyafanya. Mimi sikujua kama siku moja nitasimama hapa. 
siku jua haleluya wangapi waliona volume yangu nikiwa migadini wangapi saa hizi ukiangalia huwezi jua Yesu anazidi kutengeneza haleluya Yesu mpendo anazidi kuniunda sasa haleluya hata wengine wananiambia tu tumekusahau neema haleluya haleluya cha Yesu akipotei hata kuzimu wapigane hata kuzimu waamke cha Yesu ni cha Yesu haleluya watakwamkia wewe lakini ukitaja jina la Yesu wanarudi nyuma nataka niwaambie kitu kimoja Kenya mjajua wakati miko kuzimu jina la Yesu nitakataka haleluya wanasema takataka huyo wanaombea huko takataka huyo haleluya lakini sasa nimekwishajua kumbe walikuwa wamemfunika mahali nisitambue mimi na akili zangu kwamba huyo ndiye atakuja kunikomboa mimi kutoka kuzimu haleluya huyu Yesu ni waajabu huyu Yesu ni waajabu wapendwa natamani na mimi nadhani mnatamani jinsi ninavyotamani tungangane sote tupenye katika tundu hilo la sindano si rahisi mpendwa mwanzo saa hizi penye imefikia saa hizi ndio pagumu ndio inatakikana kungangana sasa haleluya kungangana na kujitakasa kila wakati mimi hata Bwana niliweka kando. Kwa nini unipe stress? Naenda na Yesu wangu mbele. Sitaki shida. Haleluya. Pole wako. Unayesema mimi nabaki nataka ningangane. Yesu anisaidie. Nipate Bwana, nipate nyumba nzuri, nipate nini? Sisi huku tunajitakasa Yesu nitakase baba nitakase wewe unaomba Bwana sisi tunanyakuliwa na wewe unabaki ukiomba Yesu akupe Bwana haleluya utaomba pewe watoto utaomba pewe mume mke watu wengine huku tumefunga oh Yesu tia nguvu nitakase baba tangulie baba Tengu bwana tengu haya wewe Yesu nipe mume nipe kasi nzuri ni Yesu anakuja anasema eh hey, siku imefika na huyu bado anataka bwana chukua bwana hao wengine haleluya haleluya Mungu ni mwaminifu na anatujali haleluya anatupenda Mpendwa usisikie ndoto ukadharau. Haleluya. Nakumbuka kuna siku nilikuwa natembea nikiuza nguo zangu, nikapitia mahali nikamwambia mwanamke mwingine rafiki yangu wa kidunia, nikamwambia elimu ni dhambi. Madawa ni dhambi. Alinigeukia akaniambia, unashiriki kanisa la mapasta makenzi. Nikamwambia, umejuaje? Akaniambia kuna siku nilikuwa naangalia Times TV nikampata hapa akiongea ma, ma vituko vituko vyake nilimwambia huyu Yesu huongea hata wewe akuongeleshe na nikaenda haleluya hakuna kubembelezana ukishamwambia jipe shughuli achia Yesu afanye kazi yake haleluya ni wakati wa kwenda kumangana na mwanadamu sahi aliye nasikia nasiki haleluya aliye na macho pia naone hizi ni nyakati za mwisho yaliyotabiriwa yamekamilika haleluya Yesu anarudi 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 hata sasa shafika haleluya na waoni hawaoni kama Yesu amerudi haleluya 
Nilipomwambia vile ananiambia wewe nenda nishakuzoea nikamwambia asante. Hata nguo zako siangalii unaonekana madevil ya makenzi imeanza kukutawala. Haleluya. Nikamwambia nashukuru. Yes, watendea kazi yake. Nikaenda hali nitafuta. Kumbe Yesu ni waajabu. Nilikuwa napita nasikia ananiita. Nilipofika nikamuuliza, unasemaje ama ushatembelewa? Haliniambia siku hiyo hiyo nilileta wandoto na akaniambia aliletea kwamba asiyoteshe watu mshi wa Mungu kidole. Huyo ni Yesu si Yesu. Yesu wetu ni mzuri. Mimi nampenda Yesu tawana jamani. Huyo Yesu ni muungwana. Ukimwambia kitu Yesu fanya, hanafanya. Nani mwingine kama Yesu? Hata kuzimwa hawezi. Haleluya. Hawawezi. Usiliotoshe utumishi wa Mungu vidole. Na kifait. Wewe nenda kanisa yenyewe unaenda tu. Mungu mwenyewe akipenda tuta, tutaonana. Nikamwambia lakini njili ulipata au kupata? Nilimwambia usitishiketishike na vitunzo vyao majini manini waambie umenawa mikono damu yao hautadaiwa haleluya watu nyumbani hawataki nini nilishangaa juzi babangu mtoto alikufa babangu akaja siku ya jumaine amevaa manguo za kutoka huko kuja kudhibitisha ni kwamba yuko huko tayari Haleluya Imechorwa mnyama huko nyuma Mungu wao kabisa kofia imechorwa mnyama huko huko Nikasema Yesu tenda yaliyo yako hapa Mimi sina la kusema mimi ni mwanao nazidi kubondeka mbele zako kwa ajili ya utukufu wa jina lako Haleluya Alitoka akasema nitarudi na sijui kama atarudi ama asirudi yeye venye aliona ni hivyo na ni hivyo na Mary ameshabadilika na anasonga mbele na Yesu Haleluya Kuzimu saa hii hata saa hii wanashanga Huyu mtu tulikuwa tumemweka mahali penye atasimamia watu anatuletea makastoma eh hawajajua Haleluya Mimi nimeshaamua naenda na Yesu Kuwe kugumu kuwe vipi naenda na Yesu. Haleluya. Kuharibike hata saa hizi tuseme twadebwa. Mpendo sikudanganyi naenda. Jela siogopi. Kwa nini niseme vile? Ni nani mwanadamu angeweza kunitoa kuzimu? Ni nani? Kama ni wazazi wangu walinitenga. Wakanitupe ile mbali wakasema hata wataki kuniona kabisa manake nimeshatoa siri za kuzimu ya nini nipendwa na dunia mimi ya nini ya nini nipendwa na dunia nimchukize Mungu wangu halie nitetea wangapi hawajatendewa makuu hapa na Yesu inua mkono kama hujatendewa makuu na Yesu wao hujawaiona matendo ya Yesu inua mkono pigia Yesu makofi mazuri Wapendo Yesu anatupenda zaidi. Yesu anatujali wapendo. Haleluya.
sasa msa huyu tushaletewa uko tayari twenda hapo narudi nyuma ukaangalie farao kidogo msalimie unarudi nyuma msalimie farao ama tunaenda oh tunaenda au rudi kumsalimia farao anakuja na jeshi lake basi haleluya farao amepanda farasi anakimbizana na msa haleluya Mungu wetu ni wa ajabu msali wa fimo akapiga aye Yesu haleluya tukapita haleluya hata sasa tuna msa haleluya msa yupo wewe ni vile hajamjua tu bado wadanganya sema sijui ni lakini bado mimi nitapeleka watoto shule lakini injili sioni kama ni ya kweli haleluya We utabaki pale pale na kusema hii injili si ya kweli haleluya sisi tuliyojua ni ya kweli tunaenda haleluya utabaki pale pale na kuogopa gerezani haleluya uko na mtoto ni mgonja pa, pasta yuko mimi naenda sana kunapeleka hospitali kidogo atibiwe alafu dawa na naja kuzificha haleluya haya zifiche atazidi wa pale pale tukija tuangalie anga amekufa tuangalie angalia nizi si ni dawa hizi mteule aibu shetani amekuaibisha haleluya achilia kila kitu kama unajua una kitu cha shetani mpendo achilia kila kitu hii safari ni ngumu haleluya Yesu mwenyewe amepitia magumu amepitia magumu alikuwa anawahubiria mwishowe alimsaliti haleluya kwa hii dunia wataka upendwe na nani wewe haleluya kama ni kupendwa Yesu angependwa wakati huo sisi ni watoto wa baba yetu Yesu nasi tunamuiga Yesu haleluya ndio pale wakasema mtoto wa nyoka ni nyoo nyoka hizi za simba ni nyoka sasa watoto wa Yesu ni ya haleluya tunaenda na Yesu Haleluya. Mpendwa, kama una mtu mshaiko sana. Hamu unasikia naenda lakini siko sawa. Anasikia kama nilikosea mtu fulani. Mfuate taratibu. Hii safari ni ngumu. Dada yangu kaka yangu, sitaki tukosane. Nisamee kutoka kwa kilinta moyo wako. Na Yesu atakusamee. Ndipo pale ukiomba, utasikia uzito ndani ya moyo wako, mbali utasikia kubondeka kumtazamia Yesu. Haleluya. Mimi nampenda Yesu maana amenitetea. Amenitoa mbali hadi kufikia hapa nimefikia nasema ni nguvu zake. Haleluya. Si kwa uwezo wangu mimi nilikuwa na pa, na anguka anguka nikiombewa leo hii Yesu kumbe anaweza niinua haleluya nikapanda kwa madhabahu niseme nini mbele zake wewe Yesu hanitie nguvu katika safari ya imani hata wewe akutie nguvu ni furaha yangu mimi jinsi tulivyo hivi hata wengine waongezeke Haleluya. Tutakaponya kuliwa na kuenda, shetani atapigwa na, na kushtuka. Hao walikuwa wapi? Maana nimengangana. Haleluya. Anajaribu kila mbinu. Kila mbinu kukuangusha wewe mteule. Jukumu ni lako. Tuwafundisheni watoto wetu. Wasishtuke shtuke. Haleluya. Wasiwe na uoga. Wadhibitishie kwamba kuna Yesu. Kuna Yesu.
mpendwa ni vizuri mtoto wako hakienda na we uende mwe mko pale mnaimba osana tu osana haleluya si ni raha mmepitia shida katika hii dunia mwishowe mmefaulu mmeketi na baba yenu na yule mtoto wako haleluya muniombe sana nijue kusoma hiyo biblia nikijua kusoma biblia basi kuzimu watalala na tumbo wakitembea kama manyoka vile vile walikuwa wananitesa nitawatesa hivyo hivyo mimi huwa naomba Mungu hilo haleluya shetani hakuumba mwanadamu mnajua hilo fungua na mamlaka tukapoa si lakini yeye yote kujifanya yeye ndiye anafungua yeye ndiye ana kila kitu anaweka watu mabungani kutukosoa sisi tuliokuwa na mamlaka yaingiana kweli kama aje changanyikiwa shetani ana nini huyo haleluya si ni wazimu shetani ameanza haleluya basi apende asipende nadhani yako na masikio apende asipende kwa Yesu tunaenda haleluya yani ni kiapo yani tuliapa lazima kuwe na miba kuwe na mawe tuchomwe na moto kwa hii dunia lakini ikifika siku ya Yesu kunyakuwe kalu lake basi tunaenda tumepitia shida tumepitia mangapi yote tutayacha katika hii dunia tunajua kwetu ni kwa baba yetu ndipo akasema ninaenda kuandalia makao haleluya sisi tunajua tumeshaenda kuandalia makao haleluya hili hawepo nasi tuwepo sasa kama babangu mpenya atakuwa na mimi ndio nitakaa nikae itakuwaje leo ni kwa shetani wakati yeye alishinda mpaka katupo ngapoa mamlaka mimi na vifunguo naenda na shetani wapi haleluya hawa watu wa kidunia i wish wangejua shetani dingli zenye amepanga kwa maisha yao basi wangesarenda na kuinua mikono kusema jamani wenzangu Nataka natamani tujiunge na nyinyi katika safari ya imani. Lakini kwa vile hawajajua wanaipiga vita injili ya Yesu aliyeipanga yeye mwenyewe na kuitewa yeye mwenyewe. Haleluya. Musa alip, farao alipojifanya anajua na ma, ma, nini zake mafarasi zake kufuata Musa. Walimezwa na maji wa kumezwa Walimezwa na maji ya kumezwa. Pigia Yesu makofi. Haleluya. Hivyo hivyo ndio kwa shetani. Haleluya. Atashangaa. Atashangaa akidhani ataponea. Hanadhani kwamba Yesu hajui. Halishindwa enzi hizo za kumjaribu Yesu. Haleluya. Enzi hizo ndizo alishindwa. Hata sasa hatashindwa kwa chinda la Yesu. Haleluya. Wapendwa. Safari ni ngumu. Tujipe moyo kwa kila jambo. Jaribu hiyo likija kwako, piga goti mwambie Yesu. Haya unayaona. Ha, Asifu Yesu. Yesu waezi leta kikombe kwako ambacho akikutoshi. Haleluya. Jaribio likija kwako lipokee hivyo hivyo. Japokuwa ni uchungu lakini shukuru. Tujifundishe kushukuru kwa kila tatizo. Haleluya. Kupenya kumuona Yesu si rahisi kama vile kwa shetani. Kwa shetani unaenda na ratu lakini kwa Yesu wetu kuna gharama. Haleluya. Kwa Yesu kuna gharama mpaka tungangane tuiache dunia hii na mambo yake wapendwa haleluya haleluya kama moyoni mwako ulikuwa na na akili ya kusema safari hii ni ngumu siwezi 
na mimi naona nitaachia katikati piga goti kuanzia sasa tubu kwa huo mdomo ulionena manake tayari umekwishaumba Mungu mwingine ndani ya nafsi yako hata Yesu ayupo pale haleluya hilo linaitwa shaka haleluya usiwe na shaka katika kazi ya Mungu usiwe na shaka katika imani hii Jua Yesu yupo na anazidi kukutazama. Anatamani. Yaani ana, ukifanya makosa anasema mtoto wangu ni nini anafanya? Haleluya. Sitawachosha na mengi wapendwa. Nikija huku Mama Mtumishi Timothy aliniambia nije niwasalimie. Mmepokea salamu za Mama Mtumishi? Haleluya. Mimi sina mengi ya kusema. Japo nilishuhudiwa ni naye Musa ametumwa. Haleluya. Mimi nakaza mwendo. Sijui wewe kama utakaza mwendo. Haleluya. Na siku nyingine mpendwa utakapoona mtu hata kama ni kipofu aoni. Mungu anaweza tumia hata mlevi chakari chakari kukwambia wewe neno lake. Haleluya. Mungu utumia hata viwete. Sasa hakujaribu wewe umemzoea huyu makenzi hakwambie neno yeye. Maana yeye ni msafi, basi atakuletea chokora, akikuletea chokora kwambie Yesu ni bwana, utakubali? Haleluya. Chokora wewe amekuja nisaidie na maji. Vyombo vyangu nimeosha nimeweka kwa kabati. Kifika kanisani. Saa hiyo huyu ametoka chokora, makenzi aingie. Nasifu Yesu, nisaidie na maji. Angoja mtumishi. Haleluya. Huyu si mtumishi, yule wa kwanza yule chokora ndiye alikuwa na neno lako. Haleluya. Yesu anaweza tumia yoyote hata mtoto mdogo kukulisha wewe neno ama kukuelekeza wewe katika nchi ya Kanaani. Haleluya. Kwa hivyo wapendwa tuwe watu wa kubondeka mbele za Mungu siku zote. Tusiwe watu wa viburi bali tuwe watu wa kunyenyekea. Tuwe watu wa kutii lenye tunaambiwa. Asisimame mtumishi mseme tumemzoea kila siku kwa runinga. Mbali sikilizeni lenye anaongea linye amekewa ndani yake. Manake mimi nishashuhudiwa ni mfa huyo ametumwa. Haleluya. Kwa nenda uage kina farao, haga huko kote, waambie mambo yote, lakini cha muhimu Farao mwenyewe alitulia mpaka nyoka, akachulua mpaka na nyuki, akachulua mpaka maji akageuzwa damu, bado hakuamini. Sasa alikataa kuamini. Lakini wana wa Israeli walitoka au kutoka? Si walitoka. Hata sisi tutatoka. Haleluya. Hata sisi tutatoka pasiwa na mmoja wetu ataenda kutuundia sanamu tukitoka tumeamua tunashikana mikono tunaenda ni kuenda pasitoke mmoja angalia nyuma na kuanza kusemezana na mwenzake tutakuwa tumeshamsahau Mungu wetu aliyetoka mikono wa shetani ambaye ni farao tusiwe watu wa kusikitika kuuliza sasa hivi tutakuwaje tutakula nini kama una chapa utafanyaje? Mwachie Yesu yote. Mimi ni mali yako, Yesu vitu vyote ni vyako. Fedha na dhahabu ni mali yako. Kwa nini mimi mwanao niteseke? Haleluya. Wao watu tukisema tutawanyang'anya, tutawanyang'anya vitu vyote. Maana shetani hana chochote. Mimi najua hivyo. Haleluya. Wapendwa toa shaka. 
Haleluya. Shika silaha tuliyoyachiwa. Haleluya. Songa na mbele. Kazi zisikufanya mpendo ukose kazi ya Mungu. Hizi kazi zina wenyewe. Na tayari washaanza kuandikishwa waingizwe makazini. Wewe ambaye hauna na wao mwenye ujulikani utainuliwa kwa kile kiti mwenye anajulikana awekwe pale. Siku zote uje kanisani naombea kazi naombea kazi. Ukiinuliwa pale wa kwao waingizwe utafanyaje? Yesu huyu atazama. Yesu yuko kwenye kiti chake cha enzi. Haleluya. Haleluya. Ni wakati wako na wangu kwanza kumwita Mungu hatende mapenzi yake. Haleluya. Maneno ya kuomba makazi yalipitwa na wakati enzi hizo. Mtumishi wa Mungu nishashuhudiwa kwa kunyenyekea kwake. Je, tukanyenyekea kama yeye tutafanyaje? Kunyenyekea tu kunyenyekea hakainuliwa. Wao meketi hapo wanasema mm, shazoe anaongeanga hivyo tu. Unabaki. Haleluya. Sisi tunashikana mkono, sisi tunaenda. We unabaki manungu niko yako yanakupeleka jehanamu ukiona hivi hivi umekataa marembo ya shetani umekataa elimu ya shetani lakini kwa manungu niko jehanamu unaingia Yesu wetu hataki uchafu haleluya Yesu wetu hataki uchafu kwa hivyo kama una doa la uchafu anza kulisugua sasa haleluya Lisugue mpaka umekshwa limengara. Limekuwa leupe. Basi likiwa leupe na Yesu anafanya kazi yake. Haleluya. Sitawachosha na mengi. Ni hayo machache. Wacha Yesu amani akapate kuwabariki. Tumesikia wenyewe kwa masikio yetu. Wakati wa kila mtu kuyatafakari na kuona je, anastahili kufanya nini? Ili nafsi yake ipate kukombolewa. Tuko pamoja. Tusidanganyane ya kwamba bado tuna muda. Ndio umesikia nikisema ya kwamba na washangaa watu ikiwa bado wanaweza wakati kama huu kunipigia simu wakiniambia niombe nipate kazi nimetafuta kazi miaka yote niombe lile na lile huu sio wakati huo huu ni wakati wa kujiandaa na kujitayarisha maana maisha yaliyo mbele yetu hatutaishi kwa sababu tuko na kazi hatutaishi kwa sababu tuko navyo lakini 
tutaishi kwa imani sawa sawa na neno la Yesu. Haleluya. Tuko pamoja. Manabii wa uongo wataendelea kudanganya wanadamu. Wataendelea kuwaambia watu kuna matumaini. Lakini tuelewe ya kwamba hakuna matumaini ya kuishi duniani tena. Watu wengi wako gizani kwa sababu wa ubiri wao hawakuyazingatia maneno ya manabii yaliyotabiri aswa kuhusiana na siku za mwisho na bado wanawadanganya washirika na kuwaambia ya kuwa hiyo namba ya nemis hiyo namba ya unique ama huduma namba ya kwamba hiyo sio chapa ya yule mnyama wengine nimesikia wanasema wanangoja waone mnyama kwa macho watangoja sana maana mnyama amewakabili na tayari anaenda kuwafunga na kisha kuwameza duniani leo udanganyifu ni mkubwa mnyama yule aliyetabiriwa alikuwa ni serikali za dunia na ndiye anayeendelea kumeza wanadamu tutaishi kwa imani tutaishi kwa imani Tutaishi kwa imani Tukimtazamia Bwana tuta